and Maui. And today we're going to explore the Disney castle. Woo. This castle was mailed to us by the Lego group and it's humongous. It's the biggest Lego I have ever seen with 4,080 pieces. It is patterned off of the Cinderella Castle in Walt Disney World. Look, it looks so similar. There's a room based off of every Disney princess. Wait, except for me. Hopefully me soon. Um, and you can only get it at the Lego store or lego.com. <gasps> look how amazing it is. So today we are going to look through the castle and see what's missing. Because I've heard there's some really funny things going on in here. And we got to find everything that's wrong with it. So this is the entrance of the castle. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Moana. Now this entrance looks normal. It's the part of the set. But Maui, do you see anything out of the ordinary here? Hey, hey. Hey, hey, what? No, look, it's hey, hey. <laughs> no, wait, Maui, you're right. Hey, hey didn't come with this set, but look at this gorgeous balcony. Hey, and you can't go on here. He's gonna make it dirty. <gasps> look, Moana, it's almost midnight on the clock. <gasps> we better go find those toys before it's midnight. Okay, we better go inside and, oh, look, there's the princess and the frog. They both have crowns and oh. I think they might kiss. We better let them be by themselves. All right, now we're inside on the main floor. And, oh, wait, look, this knight here doesn't look right. He doesn't have his helmet on and his face is like yellow and he's kind of like goofy looking. Maui, I think you're onto something. Look, this knight is wearing a panda suit. All right, let's just double check. And, oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> oh, Maui, look, this is a special room for Jasmine. There's a magic lamp and a magic carpet. Let's see what else. Flowers, huh? I don't remember that exactly in the movie. Let's take these out. This main floor is huge, and oh, look, it's Donald! Quack, 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 quack. Oh, there's Donald, he's so cute. And then a uh, big clock tower, or grandfather clock. I don't see anything there, but wait a minute. Way back here, this is a Christmas tree, but this is not a Christmas castle, and this is no ordinary tree. It's an R2-D2 Christmas tree. Now, this definitely doesn't belong in the castle. <gasps> Moana, come upstairs, hurry. There's a pizza, and I'm really hungry. Whew, okay, I'm gonna just climb up the wall here. Oh, thank goodness I'm hungry, too. Oh, sorry, Moana. I was uh, really, really hungry, and I ate the whole thing already. Well, fine. I'll look for some more food. Food. And what do we have here? Oh, a secret treasure room. No way. Look, let's see what's inside. We have, oh, some extra special crystals. And then, oh, the secret book of Walt Disney. Let's see what it says. Once upon a time. Brilliant. Wow, that was a really cool surprise. And let's see. Oh, this room must be Beauty and the Beast because there's Lumiere on the table. And there's some roses on the floor. And then, oh, the pretty rose in the glass. But nothing out of the ordinary from there. So let's look over here into the kitchen and oh wait there's a pumpkin in here is that supposed to be in here oh no i don't think a pumpkin should belong in here let's take that out to oh, get out pumpkin oh this one's like haunted yeah there we go. I think this is for Cinderella. She's got to clean in here a lot. Okay, and this is weird. What's with all this holiday stuff? Here's a Christmas tree just kind of randomly sitting here. So we've had like Halloween and Christmas stuff just kind of laying around everywhere. Oh, and here's the spindle that Sleeping Beauty pricked her finger on. And you see, it makes sense because it's all the way upstairs, just like the movie. But I don't remember a panda. So let's take that panda out. All right, let's see. And then this, oh, this is the Fantasia room. And there's like the singing mops and Mickey's wizard hat and like the buckets and... Oh wait, there's something with the brooms, a little baseball bat. Yeah, I don't remember there being any baseball in the movie. Oh wow, this is a super nice room. This must be Sleeping Beauty's room because she likes to sleep. But wait a minute, I don't remember a panda head in the movie. Let's try this thing on. Let me just take off my hair. Ooh, And ta-da! What do you think, Maui? Do you think I look really cute? Ooh, um, <laughs> it looks kind of scary. <laughs> okay, um, I'll take that off. We'll go back to normal here. Okay, now this one's interesting. There's a little cannon for shooting off fireworks and that came with a set and then this looks like some hair like a ponytail we have a brush and we have some scissors i don't know what movie this is from but let us know in the comments oh and look up here further must be snow white's tower room so it's got like the poison apple the magic mirror and daisy duck so everything looks good here Oh no, Maui, I'm afraid of heights. This is so high up and oh no, a little kitty from the Simpsons. I think this is Snowball. Uh-oh, I'll save you. And then, oh, here's Tinkerbell, but 
Um, she should be flying up here, I guess. Let's go back down and we'll check out the balcony. Ooh, this balcony is my favorite room so far. Look, oh, there's a rotisserie chicken in here. Mm, and a gingerbread cookie. Oh, yes. <laughs> so good. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. This is Merida's room. Well, this gingerbread cookie should not be here anyway, but this is where she does her target practice. Well, we found everything. We did a good job, Maui. We did do a good job. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys want us to film more Lego videos, click like, subscribe, and in the comments, let us know what you think of our new Disney castle. It was a beautiful day, and Mickey and Donald had come to the castle to take a tour. Oh boy, Donald, I can't wait to see what's inside, huh? You see, Mickey and Donald had to wait for Daisy and Minnie before they went into the castle. But it appeared that they were not anywhere in sight. Well, maybe we'll just start the tour and meet them when they get here, huh? <laughs> Now as they stepped inside, they looked around and realized this was a pretty cool place. Now as they looked around the foyer of the castle, Tinkerbell came up from behind them. She was the keeper of the castle and she was not happy that they were there. And she flew around sprinkling fairy dust on everything, wanting it to come alive and to prank Mickey and Donald. Now as soon as she was done, Mickey went up to a statue. Oh boy, look at this suit of armor. Isn't that neat? Huh? <laughs> to which the suit of armor responded by falling oh! down on Mickey. Well, that was a close call, huh? <laughs> if that wasn't enough, when Donald was standing in the foyer, the chandelier right above him started to spin. Now that scared Donald a little bit, so he ran away. And he ran right up to the giant grandfather clock. Uh-oh, it was almost midnight already. And scary things happen at midnight. That clock accidentally almost fell on Donald. Or was it an accident? Oh, what luck! While Donald was scrambling around, Mickey found a carpet. And it wasn't any carpet, it was the Aladdin magic carpet. So Mickey got on the magic carpet and was about to go for a joyride when he spotted Donald. And now they both were able to have fun on the carpet. They headed upstairs to the second set of rooms, but Tinkerbell had already spread her magic pixie dust all over the place. And they headed up to the kitchen. Now Mickey was hungry, so he wanted to make himself a sandwich. Hmm, where's the bread? Just a pumpkin, a carrot, and sausages? That's not enough to make a sandwich. Now right as he went to grab for one of the knives, they moved. And he thought that that was strange, but this is a magic castle after all. Not as strange though, however, when the knife reappeared and it tried to attack Mickey. Whoa! And Mickey fell down all the way to the foyer of the castle. Meanwhile, Donald had wandered into a strange room with the candlestick holder and a flower under some glass. Now as he turned around to inspect the room, that turned out to be a bad idea because the candle started a couple of flames and started to move toward Donald. Now just as the candle was about to burn him, Donald turned around and ran away fast. Now Mickey wandered into a room that seemed somewhat familiar to him. A magician's hat, buckets, and mops. Now Mickey put the hat on and started to wave his hands around. And as he waved his hands, the mops and the buckets started to move. But then he made one wrong turn and moved and the mops fell on him and knocked Mickey over. And again, Mickey fell all the way down to the foyer. Now in the meantime, Donald wandered over on the roof and he found a bow and arrow, a quiver of arrows, and a target. So Donald decided to do some target practice and he reached down to grab the bow. But the bow must not have liked that because as Donald reached for it, it flew away. Now it didn't fly too high because as Donald looked up to see where it went, it came back down and started to chase Donald. And Donald fell off the roof and fell right onto Mickey in the foyer. Now this was too many close calls and Mickey and Donald suddenly realized maybe the castle didn't want him there. So they got up and ran out. And they ran right past Daisy and Minnie. Oh well, I guess they were gonna have to take the tour by themselves. Or would they? Hey, thanks for watching. The toy featured in this video is the Disney Castle Lego set. Now this thing is gigantic, one of the biggest sets out there. 
It is for ages 16 plus. There is 4,080 pieces in it. This thing is huge. Now I think they're telling us here that this is patterned after Cinderella's Castle at the Walt Disney World instead of Disneyland. And this thing is long, so it measures almost 19 inches kind of lengthwise and 29 inches. So that's two and a half feet high. Now you can only get this at the official Lego stores or lego.com. And this Lego Disney Castle is provided to us by the Lego Group.